Hello everyone, we are Gaming by Gaslight, and welcome to Don't Starve Shipwrecked. It's been a while since I've played Don't Starve. Music sounds a little louder than I had intended, so let me adjust that again. Let's see here. I really like having it too low, but... I like to be able to actually listen to the music, but I guess that should do. That sounds good, I think. Excellent. Beautiful. I'm happy with that. It's been a while since I've played Don't Starve, and Shipwrecked finally became available for the DRM free version of the game, so... Which is the version I have, so... I figured... Why not jump in? Let's play. So, there's some off-camera stuff, as you can see since the last time we played. I've taken the time to unlock a whole bunch of stuff. Uh, we're obviously gonna jump right into Shipwrecked. I wish I could enable both at the same time. I'm pretty sure there's an option to be able to swap. Like, you can actually teleport yourself to a Reign of Giants world. Uh, what do we want to do here? World size, obviously, is going to be just massive, because that's just how you do it. No. Why that? Alrighty then. Is there actually anything else we want to change about the world? Let's see. Mild, hurricane, monsoon, dry. Season start is mild. I can... I could... Eh, well, I guess I'll leave it at default then. Which is mild, apparently. Lots of touch... I didn't change this. Well, if you want to give me lots of touchstones and, bo and boons, then hey, who am I to judge, right? Right. I'll accept that. Alright, there's pretty good stuff here. So it actually seems, based on... Uh, Sort of precursory look that it's gonna be. Well, there's new giant. Oh, that's Krampus. Awesome. I love that guy. Anyway, so there's gonna be some new giants. There's gonna be some new stuff to be afraid of. Uh, yeah. World will be custom preset one. I, can I name this? Nope, I cannot. That's a shame. I wish I could give that a. Custom name. Who do we want to play as? In both the previous attempts last time on camera, we've played as Wilson. Um, who would be cool to play as? I actually really like playing as Maxwell, to be honest. I mean, he's dapper. You gotta love a dapper man. Uh, Wigfred, Weber. Wait, wasn't Weber on the list somewhere else. I've still not unlocked this guy whose name I can't remember, but he's pretty cool. We could play as a lumberjack. I mean, he is Canadian. He has an axe and a terrible secret. But I know what that secret is, and it's good, but I kind of don't like the fact that it limits certain gameplay options. I mean, I do like playing as Maxwell, but he also, you don't have to worry about insanity with him too much. Ah, screw it. We're gonna play as Maxwell. I like Maxwell. He's an awesome guy. He's also evil as sin, probably. But I mean, his implied backstory is that he was a good guy once. Might cut out that loading screen, and I'll since I didn't say anything. I just wanted to read it. Nice sailing. Go on. Chump. I'm also going into this blind, more or less. I, I did load it up and play a quick game off camera where I died before the end of the first day because good, uh, good thing to learn is apparently, at least with the default raft you can build. Hello? Anyway, at least with the default raft you can make, Oh, there are two can. Yeah, with the default raft you can make, you end up uh, not being able to have a light on you. So even if you're holding a torch, the torch goes out. And when the torch goes out and it's nighttime, you die. Presumably to the horrors of the dark. I didn't actually read the morgue entry on what killed me. There's also a lot of new stuff here. Also, uh, this is all stuff that Maxwell starts with. Yeah, we don't need to equip any of that right away. It's cool stuff. I mean, Maxwell gets a really powerful start, which is, you know... I mean, the stronger you start in any situation, the more likely you are to keep snowballing. So, yeah, that's good. Especially since we're in new and uncharted territory. Having someone who can start strong is probably for the best. Hasty limpets. Gotta love them limpets. 
I wonder if there's new cooking recipes. I assume there are. All right, we're already off the beaches and into the jungle. Let's have a quick look at the map. How do I zoom in on this map? It's been a while since I played. Ooh, there's some kind of weird crabby thing over there. I wonder if there's an equivalent for beefalo around here. I have to assume there. What the heck are you? Yep. Oh, so you're kind of like the evil trees from the base game. I gotcha. I like your personality, totally regular and not unordinary tree in any way. Alright, so, basically, uh, what is new about Shipwrecked for anyone who may not be familiar with it? Well, for one, you're Shipwrecked. Uh, for two, oh, there's some mussels over there. I assume I can fish those or something. And, um, aside from the fact that you're shipwrecked, you can actually sail on the water now. It's probably one of the biggest differences. Also, that it was a really interesting looking butterfly over there. I like it. Oh, no, no, don't pick the evil flower just yet. No, no. The flying flower. What was that? There's some scary new sounds here. Scary because I don't know what they are. You know, I should be able to at least wade into the shallows, right? Then again, maybe I wouldn't want to. So we're also in some kind of scary, crazy jungle here. Uh, we are, before the end of this episode, definitely going to build a raft of some kind. And I mean, I feel since sailing is a big part of this, we're probably not going to want to build a forever home. And there's our nautical stuff right there. We can build a log raft or a, a better raft. And we can build even better stuff like a rowboat... A boat repair kit, that sounds pretty good. Batch sails to catch the wind. Everlight sail. Now let's see, what else? A boat cannon. Oh, nice. We can have some ship-to-ship -ship combat here. A sea trap, huh? Trap for sea creatures. A net. I like it, I like it. A patient fisherman is rewarded. Spyglass, see across the sea. A super spy, ooh. The uh, fishy eye. Eye of the tiger shark. I love this game. Yes. Ah, it's beautiful. Let's see. Cap- Did you just drop doubloons? What the hell? Yoink. Mine now. Anyway, getting back to our looking at life jacket. Life jacket, huh? Safety first. I assume that way you don't die instantly when you fall in the water. A buoy. Mark your place in the water. That, that sounds like a wise choice. Really. Um, let's see here. What- what do we want to build exactly? Any uh, new thing? Boat lantern. Shed some light on the situation. I like it. I like the way that's worded. I like everything about it. So machete, hack stuff. So that would be to like cut down this bamboo, I presume. Row through just about anything, you say. What are the doubloons good for? The clinking sound when they rub together is intensely satisfying. Yeah, that's your problem, Maxwell. It's all about the money to you. You and your money. Let's see here. Is there anything cool in the heart of the jungle? I mean, I don't know if... Uh, I mean, because we are kind of late to the party here. I mean, you, people have been able to play Don't Starve Shipwreck for a while. So, I don't know if there's going to be a lot of interest in this particular series. But, if there is, we could make this a regular series. For now, I'm going to assume it's going to be like a one-off sort of thing that we do. But if you want to actually see a series out of this, do let me know. And in the meantime, we're just going to enjoy what time we have together in the shipwrecked universe here. Because there's a lot to explore, a lot to discover. Should be fun. I'm... What the heck is that? Oh, it's just seaweed. Okay, just seaweed. Nothing scary. At least not yet. But this is Don't Starve. Everything is scary sooner or later. Even if you don't think it's scary now, it will be scary eventually. And you will... Ooh. I like the new music. Kind of sad that the menu doesn't have the classic Don't Starve opening theme sort of thing going on anymore. But it's still good, so I can't be too angry about it. I mean, I could, but what's the point in being angry about it? Nothing, says I. Alright, so I figure what we'll do is we'll make a fireplace for tonight at least. I have no idea what these doubloons are good for. We'll figure that out eventually, though. I mean, sh there's probably someone who likes them. Maybe the equivalent of the Pig King or something? Except he likes gold, and he gives us ever stuff for gold. 
Maybe if... I wonder if there's an adventure mode equivalent uh, for Shipwrecked. That would be interesting. Because I assume uh, that Parrot would be the villain this time. Because that Parrot also shows up if you're playing as Wilson. So it's not like uh, adventure mode in the regular game where you're off to go find Maxwell and stuff. It's a case of... Well, I mean, it's a case of... What, what's the story here? What is the mystery? I'm also really glad that nighttime seems to last very short, so we're basically starting in what almost feels like summer. Me, anyway. This game, or this version of the games, this expansion, that's what we're trying to say. It's equivalent of summer. And we've mostly, it seems, explored our starting island. I mean, I think we've mostly explored it. I'm pretty sure there was a time when the mouse wheel could zoom in and out. I don't know why I can't with it now. That's odd, but I'm not going to make a big deal out of it. It's also now nighttime, so I should probably make a torch so we can keep running around. Torch, please. Oop. There we go. That's scary there for a second. Because even when you're Maxwell, Charlie is not a friend. We're also almost out of uh, room in our inventory, so let's... Uh, apparently, limpets make your sanity go up. That's interesting. That's actually good to know. Very good to know indeed. Let's keep gathering stuff. And I should probably build an axe, if I had to guess. So uh, let's actually take the time to do that right now. There is an axe. She'll also build a pickaxe. I'm not gonna make a machete just yet. Mostly because we don't have a backpack yet. And without a backpack, we don't have much space for stuff, so it's always a concern. Oh, wait, did we lose sanity from eating the limpets? Again, I am liking the new music. It's subtle. I like it. What are you? It's quite shocking. Oh, Maxwell, you and your puns. Anyway, let's uh, gather ourselves some wood. Maybe some palm fronds as well. Uh, what, what should I get rid of here? What do I not really need? I guess I don't need the rock. We can abandon the rock for now. As much as it pains me to leave stuff. I mean, maybe it would have been better to get rid of the... Whatchamacallit? The thingy. The doubloon. Maybe we don't need the doubloon. Then again, I'm going to hold on to that doubloon. Because maybe the doubloon, if I... If I give it to someone, it'll unlock a new character. Because there are new characters in this expansion. And I have no idea how to get them. Some of them you just unlock the regular one. Oh, oh god! There's tr there's tree snakes. Alright. Oh, you're gonna you're gonna Ah! You're gonna regret messing with me, son. Ah! Yeah, you're damn straight. Yeah. Suck it. <laughs> No tree snake can beat Maxwell. There we go. Uh, but now I don't have any inventory space. That's unfortunate. And because we're good citizens, we will plant a new tree here. Oh! Hello. Uh, uh. Hey, you're that pirate guy. Did I kill you? Nope, he ran away. Hey, you better run. Where'd my axe go? There you are, Mr. Axe. Over here. Not a, you're not a pirate parrot. Alrighty then. We'll uh, eat that. These as well. I probably didn't need to do. We'll equip this axe. Chop down some more trees because I want to build a raft. I want to hit the high seas. Yes. The mystery and adventure that lies beyond. Beautiful. It's absolutely glorious, my friends. Alright, we'll zoom out a little. See what's going on. Oh, I like those wind effects. Leave me alone, you darn dirty snake. The snakes really like to kill you, don't they? Alright, we're slowly zooming. Yeah, you better run. I wonder if I can destroy those crates. I assume I can. I just haven't taken the time to figure out how yet. What do I need for this? 
Oh, yeah. All right. We'll build a log raft instead. Yeah. Now, the important thing here is probably also... Where can I plant this? Oh, right at the shoreline. Gotcha. Inspect. Okay, so we can see its health. Wait, does that mean bigger rafts actually have... Uh, bigger rafts actually have... What am I trying to say? I like the music, first of all. That, you know, while we're sailing around here. I assume we want to avoid these waves. So, uh, let's do that. And the... Oh, no. I was going... I was going somewhere with all this, but I forget where I was going with it. Um... Oh, dear. Alright. Um, something about... Oh, yeah, bigger rafts actually have storage space on them, maybe? That sounds pretty cool. I like that. If that is, in fact, the case. Because it sounded like a chest opening sound. I hope there's a... Another island somewhere around here, because... Oh, dear. Because the last thing we want, I think, is for us to... Especially with uh, night slowly approaching. Probably should have considered that as well. There's got to be an island around here somewhere. Ooh, fishies. Row to shoal. Oh, so I can just actually click and... Oh, wait, wait. We're getting into shallower water, I think. Oh, no, no, no. Alright, come on now. There's got to be land somewhere. Yes! Here it is! Land! I have... Hello. A message in a bottle. Wait, where did I get this egg from? We'll pick up the bottle. You have enough time, I can build a ship inside. Yes, you could. Alright, we'll hop off here. This is our new home now. It's full of crabs. That, that's not necessarily a good thing. Are there more biomes than just the two we've seen so far, which are the beach and jungle? I hope there are, because if there aren't, that would be kind of annoying. And I'm also hoping there is some kind of adventure mode equivalent. Maybe I should have had a smaller world. But, let's see here. I keep wanting to use the uh, mouse wheel to zoom in and out. Eh. I like it. I like what we've got going here. I wonder if there's wormholes as well to facilitate quick travel. These are the questions. Oh. There is a honeybee hive here, and it's not angry yet. That's good. Alright, so far I am... I've also noted, there's got to be another way as well to, uh, like, escape. So I wonder what that is. We're going to have to explore each island quite thoroughly, I think, so that we can figure that out. But I also noticed that the timer is getting up there, so we're probably going to want to wrap things up shortly. Um, hmm. I should probably drop stuff and try to get some logs so that we could actually build ourselves, uh, like, a permanent campfire. Because even though I... What's going on over here? Oh, the snakes and the spider men are attacking each other, as they often do. Um, yeah, so I figure, yeah, we, we should build, like, a permanent home somewhere, so at least we have somewhere to orient ourselves. So the question is, I guess we're actually more or less at the center of the world. I assume the map puts us at the center most of the time. So we can always come back to the center in order to explore more, which is good. I approve of all this. And also, having a permanent home means that we have somewhere to go if things get wrong. But then again, being a nomad is also... It has its charms. Cruel yet elegant beastie. I agree with that assessment. These are the questions, but we'll have to figure out what's going on. And again, like I said earlier in the episode, if you want this to become a regular series, do let me know down in the comments. Hello. Apparently it is what passes for architecture. I could burn his house down and let that be light for me. Okay. Alright. I think this torch might last long enough if I do some uh, shenanigans. If I set this tree on fire, will it spread? Alright. Hopefully it won't spread too far. 
and so on. But anyway, yeah, so if you want to see more of this and want this to become a regular or a semi-regular series on the channel, do let me know. Oh dear. That didn't last long at all. Chiminea. Or chimney. Fire and wind don't mix. Oh, so we're going to have to worry about wind, are we? Limestone and sand. Oh. Oh, that's going to actually be possibly concerning, isn't it? What's this? Boat torch. Sea at sea. Hmm. No, I should actually start building stuff, shouldn't I? But like I said, I think that's going to do it for this episode. We're going to have to find gold. So actually, we have to keep sailing. We, we can't build a forever home until we have access to some kind of... Some source of Zia. Thanks, huh? That could be useful. But we need a source of gold so that we can actually make ourselves a home. And I don't think we're going to have a source of gold until we find a source of gold. So there's got to be more types of biome around here is what I'm getting at. So let's uh, continue sailing. But I'm just going to do it for this episode. So as always, thank you all for watching. I hope you enjoyed. Let me know what you think down in the comments below. And I will see you all next time.